You were mentioning also that um, at one of your meetings, a few ladies came up to you afterwards and, and asked you uh, if you could really, or what, what could you do to help create those jobs or help to develop or <coughs> maybe uh, set the right environment for jobs. Um, what would you, what, what, what did you, how did you respond? They were, cons these ladies were, I'd attended a church meeting where I talked about the economy, where I talked about the, the need for new jobs, not federal jobs, not handouts of any kind, not entitlements, but private sector jobs. What I told these ladies was this. I said, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to look at every local company in this area and see if there's any federal regulations that we can surgically remove that are impeding these companies from hiring people currently right now. And there's a lot of regulations we've already found that are impeding people. Many of them involve their concerns about insurance costs because of the, the future of the Affordable Health Care Act. The second thing is we have to make sure that there's additional job training programs for these young men and women, but they're, they're, we have a problem. Right now the problem is, is that if there is federal money provided for job training, but the money goes to the schools. I prefer and prefer to see, and I've already spoken to some private sector people, some independent uh, people, companies, I prefer to see we have private sector training where we're teaching people new skills, but that the federal money stays with that young man or woman. They may already be married. They may have kids. They can't go to a day classes for eight hours and not get paid. So I'd rather that money stay with them and we provide the training, whether it be for CATIA software, whether it be how to run heavy equipment. These things have got to be taught during the day whether it be uh, electrical training, whether it be training in, in air conditioning or plumbing, any kind of program we could offer. I don't want, I want to do things where the people get better than a minimum wage job. They've got to have, they've got to get opportunities where there's a future, not minimum wage. There, there's a place for minimum wage, but we also have to make sure these people have, are looking at real jobs so they can have a real future and not be stuck in some minimum wage position with no future.